happened to this man? We do. We do. <laughs> All right. If you're taking pictures, feel free to move around, take pictures or videos or whatever you want to do. Embarrass the heck out of them. They'll appreciate it in a couple of years. So are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Okay, as good as it's been in the last couple of years, it's about to get really, really better. Aww. Because after this, it's Mr. and Mrs. Forever and Ever. Okay? Okay. So you ready, David? I'm ready. You ready, Haley? Yes. Okay. So here we go. We are gathered here today in the presence of God for this man and this woman to give thanks for the gift of marriage and to share in the joy of their wedding. Marriage is a way of life given by God so that a husband and wife may provide for each other companionship, help, comfort, joy, and love. Marriage is a promise of hope that endures all things. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into lightly, for it is by God's word that we are commanded to honor it at all times. In Ecclesiastes 4.9, it says that two are better than one. It goes on to say that a three-strand cord is not easily broken, meaning that God loves you, wants to be part of your lives, and wants to be part of your marriage. In short, he wants you to succeed. In Proverbs 3, 3 and 4, it says, Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablets of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. In Proverbs 18, 22, it says, He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. David, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? to live together in holy covenant of marriage. Will you love her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Why do we do the read our vows? After you exchange your gifts with this young man. Haley, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in holy covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, keep him safe in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. My Bible says that we are to be merciful to one another, that love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy or boast. It is not proud or rude or self-seeking. It is not easily angered and keeps no records of wrongs. Love never fails. For God has given you guys this day. It is a present. That's why they call it a present day. It is a gift from God to you guys, to you too. In 1 John 4, 7, it says, God is love. And in John 13, 34, Jesus comes along and says, a new command I give to you, love one another as I have loved you. And then he says, you must love one another. So tonight, David, when you go to bed and you see your wife, tell her you love her. When you rise up in the morning and you see her, tell her you love her. And when God gives you another day, and he will, do it again. Haley, tonight when you go to bed and you see your husband, tell him you love him. When you rise up in the morning and you see him, tell him you love him. And when God gives you another day, do it again. David, would you repeat this vow after me, saying, I, David. I, David. Take you, Haley. Take you, Haley. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I pledge. And I pledge. I will be faithful. I will be faithful. And I will love. And I will love. And serve you. And serve you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Haley, will you repeat this vow after me, saying, I, Haley. I, Haley. Take you, David. Take you, David. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I pledge. And I pledge. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And that I will love. And that I will love. And serve you. And serve you. As long as we both as shall long live. As we both shall live. God says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. As a sign and the seal of the love that you have for each other. And for the promises you are making today, you have chosen to exchange rings. David, would you take Haley's ring, placing it on the third finger of her left hand, Uncle James. and repeat.
repeat this vow after me. Uncle Jim. <laughs> well, that's why he's great. Great Uncle Jim. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign. As a sign and a seal and a seal of my love of my love. Haley, will you take David's ring, placing it on the third finger of his left hand, and repeat this vow after me, saying, "I give you this ring." I give you this ring as a sign. As a sign and a seal and a seal of my love. Of my love. Great uncle, you can be seated. Thank you. David, do you have something that you would like to say to your wife? You gotta go first. <laughs> I didn't rehearse this, so be gentle. Haley, before I met you, I had barely discovered who I was. I was still figuring out what it meant to be me. I had this sad, shaggy dog in my passenger seat, driving across the country with no real direction, no set in mind, no clue what I was going to do, no plan in place. But then I saw you. Oh, actually, I saw Mr. Bubbles first. Um, and then I saw you. It was on our first date that I knew I loved you. I silently prayed that you felt the same way. Our first conversation may have started October 20th, 2018, but it never ended. Every day I look forward to continuing it. From the first night we fell asleep on the phone together, I whispered I love you, attempting not to be heard. I still crave to know more about you, to hear your voice, to have your gaze meet mine. Over the years, I have seen life throw challenges and hardships in your path, and yet you always remain strong, positive, and indefatigable. You have faced brave against all dangers, except for heights and spiders. But seriously, you've always made time for me, for us. You made me feel important. You treated me like I was a part of your family, and your family welcomed me with open arms like I had always belonged. Admit it, Kate and Natalie tried to take me to the test to make sure I was up to their standards. <laughs> and I never did receive a letter grade, and I hope I passed. But I have no doubt that if I didn't pass, I would not be standing here today. So with this ring, I promise that I will buy my own blizzards if I just want a bite. I promise I will cherish every second I have with you. That if you stumble, I will be there to catch you. I will hold you close when you need me the most. I will listen when you need to be heard. I will give you all that I can. I will love you with all that I am. David, do you have something you'd like to say to David? I would love to. <laughs> oh, I got to get that. <laughs> You walked off that elevator and then it was we, you and me. I knew I loved you that first night outside Washington Power Company. What I didn't know was, was that I was going to keep falling in love with you over and over again. I look at you every day and I wonder how I got so lucky. To have you by my side is an honor. You are the most patient, kind, thoughtful, loving, intelligent, supportive and compassionate man I've ever known. Quite simply, the best, better than all the rest. Just ask my family, you're the only one they've ever liked. <laughs> you are not just a great man, you inspire greatness in others. You are that rare kind of person that makes the world around you a better place, and I'm a better person just for knowing you. I promise you I will never take you for granted. Granted. I will love you always, I will do everything I can to support your dreams. I will follow you across the state while you do your insane runs, I'll be in the car behind you, of course, but I'll be there. I'll always be there for you, to love you, to care for you, to listen to your stories, even the wild tangents. Oh look, there's a squirrel. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm ready to share my blizzards with you. I love you. Just in case. Take your by the hand. We'll get each other. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. 
the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. You have come before God today to express your desire to be husband and wife. By the taking of hands, the reciting of vows, the exchanging of rings, you have shown your love for each other. I therefore, by the power vested in me by God and the state of Idaho, pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Yay! Yay. <laughs> you made it. <laughs>